It's an effort that's been building for weeks. A push to recall County Prosecutor Brian Donnelly and three commissioners, Tony Martini, Stuart McKinnon, and David Ritter. Today, the recall petitions went to the election board for a clarity meeting. Our job is to decide whether or not this language is clear enough that it can go to the voters. There was no discussion for the recall language against Prosecutor Brian Donnelly. The election board unanimously agreed the language was clear and it could go on the February ballot if Donnelly doesn't appeal within 10 days and petitioners collect 1,600 signatures. The recall claims Donnelly committed misdemeanors while in office and violations of HIPAA laws. As for the three commissioners, there was concern the language was not clear enough. I find it very confusing and, you know, I, uh, I do fairly well reading. I'm not illiterate. Very unclear to me as a citizen what I'd be voting on. The recall petitions claim the commissioners didn't have the county's best interests in mind. Not allowing a bond proposal for a new library to go before the voters, cutting funding for MSU extension, their role in hiring a private firm to look at government consolidation to save money, and a vote by commissioners to prevent same-sex couples from getting government benefits. There's no explanation as why the vote on this issue was harmful and illegal and unconstitutional. The said petition should be rejected for lack of clarity. After about an hour and a half of discussion, the election board unanimously agreed the petition language wasn't clear enough to move forward. In Kalkaska County, I'm Andrew Keller, 7 and 4 News.